Hi, I'm Lie, and you're watching Creativity Over Quality. I'm going to show you how I made these. Let's begin. So I started off by cutting out their bases. I think it will always feel weird to draw on leather with a ballpoint pen, but it will be fine since we will stitch together the pieces with the right sides facing each other. You can find this pattern and others for free at our Patreon page. So you should check that out if you would like to make any of the things we do. And if you instead want to buy any of the things we do, you can contact us at our Facebook page. Links are in the description. Oh, and if you liked the video, please click the button. And if you want to learn more stuff like this, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me and Quest. So these eight pieces will be our two balls, and the two round ones will be inside the balls, and the rectangular ones will be the handles. I'm not very strong, so I'm really no expert at cutting through the thick leather, but movie magic makes it look easier. I was really tired after this though. Uh, in the middle of those four pieces? Yeah. Uh, with this one? <laughs> Just get it started and I can finish it. Okay. Nope. Use a strong friend or something. You can of course use a hole punch and a hammer if you don't have access to an extremely strong person. Punch holes down the edges of all the eight pieces of soft leather. The distance to the edge can be as small as the distance between the tines. Then punch holes down the short edges of the rectangular pieces. After putting the thread through the needle, I push the needle through the thread and then back again. We use a braided waxed acrylic thread. If you missed it, I will show it to you again, but out of focus. Sorry about that. Then I stitch two contrasting pieces together with the right sides facing each other. I'm using a saddle stitch. I'm sure there are better ways to make a saddle stitch, but this is how I'd make it. Remember to stretch the leather every five stitches or so, so it doesn't curl too much. Don't stitch all the way up, but save the last hole for later. Then fasten the threads with a knot of your choice. I have no idea what knot I'm doing here. The second seam is the same as the first, so while I do that, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. So making this video is rather scary for me. I'm very self-conscious about how I look and sound. Mainly because I rarely speak English, and I feel like it sounds very bad when I do. But I am doing it, and since I am, I'm taking this opportunity to tell you to go do the scary thing as well. Well, not now. Finish watching the video first, and then go do the scary thing. Okay? Hey, we almost have a ball! some fabric. This is what I had laying around. It's leftovers from when we made our Christmas curtains. You can of course use whatever you want, as long as it's rather light. As you can see, this was pretty hard for me, but luckily I have my leather thimble. It really is the best thing ever. Mm. 
Now pull the fabric out through the top. Now the other top. The pointy end. There we go. When we start the fourth seam, first go through two pieces at opposite sides so it won't leak, then go on as before. But only stitch about two thirds of the way up to make room to turn the project. Do not cut your threads. Time to fill it up. I used rice, but you could also use sand if you want them to be heavier. Fill it halfway up at first. Then you take your paracord or shoelace or rope or whatever you get and burn the ends and make them pointy. The ends are going through the wrong bits of leather. Then we make a stopper knot. I am not an expert at knots. No, front or back? Who knows? I know I don't. Well, as we say, better to screw up than not screw at all, right? The round bits should be in the middle of the ball and lay level with the bottom. Then keep filling it up until you can't fit any more in there. When you do the other one, make sure they weigh the same. Mine were about 76 grams, but I think that heavier might have been better. I finish with a double lacing stitch. Once again, I will show it to you a second time, but it will be out of focus. That is how we do it now at Creativity or Quality, apparently. Since we will only do one stitch now, you can just run the thread through the needle. Then get it through the top holes that you saved before. Leave about 10 cm of thread on the short side and make a loop. Then twist the long side of the thread up the paracord, starting under your stitch. Thread the needle again and push it through the paracord. Then through the loop. And then pull the short end. Pull it tight. Cut the threads and burn the ends. Now it's time to paint the handle pieces. I want the handles black, but you can of course do without painting at all if you'd rather not. I use an alcohol-based black leather dye. Alright, edge beveling. Bevel the edges before you paint. There we go.
To prevent any cracks in the leather and make the stitching easier, I use leather fat. Really work it in. Time to decide how long you want your cords. You really have to try it out for yourself, but I'm 178 cm tall and 65 cm worked fine for me. Then we do our second stopper knot and, since I repeat myself, we have to have some focus trouble. Now I'm gonna do a cross stitch, but this leather is still pretty hard, so first I'm gonna get my leather thimble. Go around the first holes a second time, and then do a cross stitch to the end. Then tie up your threads, cut them off and burn the ends. And we're done! Or so I thought. After practicing with them I noticed the fabric slowed them down a lot, so I need to cut it diagonally. Well, diagonally enough. Now we're done. Time to play. This is one of my favorite summer activities and I haven't done it in a bunch of years, so I'm very excited to be able to do it again. As you can see, you don't have to be very good to have fun with it. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked it. If you have any troubles with this project, you can write in the comment section or join our Discord server that is connected to our Patreon page. Good luck with your projects and as we say in our hometown, Arigatee!